Hello YouTube, welcome to Ambrose Landscaping YouTube channel. In this video today, we're taking you guys through a walkthrough, like giving you guys an update on our enclosed trailers. Now we just recently bought a 6x12 enclosed trailer, and of course we have the legendary 8.5x16 that's right behind me. Uh, so in this video, we're going to show you kind of like our new setup, how we designed the next one, and uh, kind of give you guys a little bit of ideas on how to design your guys' trailers. So go ahead and stay tuned. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and start with the new trailer. So as you can see right here, this is the new 6x12 enclosed trailer. This is a Pace America single axle. Uh, it's been a good little trailer. We found it on Craigslist. Uh, if you guys are following us on Instagram, you would have saw uh, the before pictures. It was extremely oxidized. Uh, it came from Florida. And so you, can, you can't really probably see in this camera or in this video how bad it is. But if you, go, if you guys follow us on Instagram, you'll see exactly how bad it was. Uh, we went ahead and buffed the whole entire thing and got it back to its shine and then we of course got our stickers on it uh, this is just one side we got some stickers on the door as well and if you guys don't know this is my personal truck you guys probably saw this in another video that i did recently so this is just my personal truck we use this when we just don't want to take the diesel out uh, for long drives so this is the little this is my truck i've had this for a long time so, so we'll start with the trailer we'll go ahead and start with the back of course so this is the trailer. It's actually not done yet. The only thing we have left to do is we have to install the trimmer racks. Uh, we haven't ordered those yet, but we're going to be doing that soon. But this is it so far. This is our, a lot of guys have been asking, what do we do with this trailer? Uh, why do we get another one? Uh, there's a lot of small yards that the big trailer and truck just can't manage to get into. So we decided to invest in a small trailer because we were actually having to turn down yards where we were actually able to get to them because of um, not easy access. So we went and purchased this one, got it for a great deal. And as you can see, we got all of our push mowers in there. Uh, of course, the two Hondas and the, to and the two Toros. And uh, so in this one, we actually just uploaded not too long ago, a video on our shelving on how to install those. So if you guys want these in your, sh in your trailer and wanna know how we did it, we did a quick little video. We did a video on how to do the bottom ones, of course. Um, and of course we didn't do the top one because it's pretty much all you're doing is the exact same thing. Uh, very easy process uh, where anyone can learn it. So of course we got our gas cans and all of our containers with all of our gloves, water, all that. We got our backpack squares of course. And of course we have our uh, Husky racks that we do everything, you know, that hold all of our tools. We got our trimmers. And of course um, we have a small little hand blower up there when we do those. And then on days where we use this trailer, we just put the backpack blower right here. So this is this trailer so far. Uh, it's been a good little trailer, a fun little project, uh, pretty much exactly like the other one. Like I said, the only thing that we're going to be doing that we haven't done is install uh, trimmer racks on this trailer. Now, the one thing that I wish we would have done on the other one, but we're going to, we'll probably wind up doing it later on, but we're going to do it to this one for sure. And this is a little tip on when you're designing a trailer is when you put your trimmer racks, place them on the right side of the trailer. Uh, the reason why is because you want easy access, of course, when you design this, you wanna have easy access to everything where you're not having to trip over everything. And I'll show you what we did, the reason why, uh, but you can easily get easy access from this side and I'll show you why on the other trailer. So anyways, this is the trailer right here. Um, and of course, we have all of our other main tools in the other trailer. And of course, this is what the logos look like on this. And of course we have it on the back door. We'll get a video of that in a little bit. Uh, but anyways, these are our logos that we got. The trailer, as you can see, it's shining now where before it wasn't. And we'll do some before and after pictures. Um, but yeah, so this is our trailer. And yeah, so we'll, we'll go ahead and get over to the 8.5x16. All right, so of course I got behind me the 8.5x16. And, um, and this one is for all of our big jobs where we use our zero turns. And you'll see why. We actually just yesterday... Uh, got our bagging system on our Hustler X1 and this thing is huge compared to the other one that we got So we'll go ahead and take a look into it as you can see There's the bagging system. We'll do a review on this later. We just got this yesterday brand new Really excited about it and as you can see it takes up a lot of room where we're actually we'll be able to fit a 
at least one of the Toro, or I'm sorry, the Honda 21 inches. So that one's gonna stay in this trailer for when we have those jobs where we do a small little push yard and then the big ones. And we'll slide it right here in the back. But anyways, this is the new uh, bagging system. It's huge. You got your blower assembly and all that, the X1, and then of course you got the, the fast rack up front. And so we'll go ahead and start with the trimmer racks. The reason why I would recommend you putting them over here and you can see where the engines are placed are on the right hand side and for the yellow racks uh, there's a knob where you on to unlock it and you have to get it from the right hand side so if we were to put it on this side we will be able to actually access the trimmer so much more faster um, the reason why we didn't want to do this at force is because since we have the bagging systems and the blowers I thought that they were going to interfere with it um, but probably later on we'll probably do it at the end of this year it's kind of a time consuming process but we're probably going to go ahead and wind up moving those over to this right hand side. So that is probably one of the biggest tips I would recommend when installing your trimmer racks uh, because of that reason. So um, anyway, so yeah, go ahead and put the racks over here. And of course, you got the mowers right here. We can fit two mowers and luckily a push mower. We'll go, go ahead and go over to the front door. And of course, everyone knows this trailer. So as you can see with the zero turn, we're all the way up to the front and then the new one fits just right underneath it. So we have just a little bit of space. Anyway, so that's the new blower assembly, as you can see. It's a big guy. We'll do a review on that later. I just want to get some experience on it, put some hours on it first. And of course, we got our racks. We got all of our tools up here. And yeah, so you all know this one. So that's what's really nice. Uh, so another tip that I would recommend uh, when doing the shelving that we didn't do in our video. So as you can see on this one, we got a two by four right here. And then of course we had the shelf. If you guys are doing a big trailer like this and you're gonna have a lot of weight on the shelf, I would probably recommend doing this. You mount a two by four first, and then you do the shelving on top of that where you have another two by four. And the reason why is because it's extra strength. So you're able to get this two by four, screw this into it, get another one, screw that one into it, but it's also resting on this. So it can actually support a lot more than what we did on the other trailer. Now I'll go ahead and go over there real quick and show you how we did it over there. <clears throat> All right. So as you can see right here, we didn't do that. The original plan was that we were going to do a two by four underneath here uh, to support it. And then of course what we did on that trailer. But since we don't have that much weight in this trailer, which I knew we weren't going to, we decided to switch up the process. So um so pretty much in the video that we did on how to install your shelving um what we did was the original plan was to do what we did in the big trailer but instead we did we changed it up so that was one thing about that let me get out of the sunlight um that was one thing about the video even though it's a long video 20 minutes long it, we actually had over two hours of recording and i tried to shrink it down as into as uh as short of a video as possible uh, but of course keep all the main components in it and so that's one of the things i was gonna uh, talk about in this video is like i said if you're gonna have a lot of weight on there and put a lot of tools then definitely put a two by four underneath of it to support it to give it that little extra support uh, but of course if you're not gonna have that much like we do in this one uh, then of course you don't really need that so uh, let's see so anyways all right, guys. Well, this is our update on our trailers. We want to keep you guys updated if we find anything new that we like uh, in the in the trailer. Uh, let's see. All right, so I'm just going to show you a couple little ideas that we did. Uh, one of them worked pretty well. The other one, uh, we're going to have to tweak it a little bit. But what we did over here, as you can see, well, you will see when I get you there. So as you can see right here, we have our extensions for a PS attachment series for our Echoes. And all we did was, I found these little clips, as you can see right here. I found these little clips that you can buy at, I tried finding them at the Home Depot. I didn't have any look, luck, but I found them at the co-op. Uh, I'm sure you can find them at any hardware store. But we just got an L bracket and then we just mounted that, of course, to that, where now it holds it pretty easily so we're not hanging this because before we were hanging them and they kept falling down so luckily these have actually done pretty well as you can see so that is one of the new improvements to this trailer that we did uh, another thing another thing that we did was over here now when we hang our our trimmers we have our guards on here 
And the problem was that the guards kept falling off because they'll come loose and then these would fall off. So what we did was we got the same clamps and we just secured them. This one doesn't fit right here. Um, but of course we secured them so that these are not moving now. We pretty much, all the movement that we were getting in our trailers was causing our tools to, uh, to fall and they were starting to break. So another thing that we decided to do and this is what I did. I'll take you over to the backpack blowers, as we did that over there, was anything that's heavy, like a backpack blower or a trimmer um, that you don't want to fall, especially uh, like the backpack squares. What we did here was we got the same self-tapping screws and we just screwed them through here, um, through the hanger and then put it right into the rack. Now this will actually not move at all because what was happening was you're supposed to turn these, but these aren't meant for a trailer. This is meant for your garage. So what I did instead was I just, like I said, self-tapping screws screw this onto here. Now this will not move at all. And it's all you have to do is simply unscrew it and you're good to go and you can do it all over the place. So of course we did it to our backpack sprayers, our blowers, our trimmers, anything heavy that we're not going to move where everything has a designated place. So that's another trick uh, that I wanted to show you guys that we did in this trailer. All right, guys, before you go, I want to go over one more tip that we did that uh, was actually an improvement to our trailer. Uh, what we did right here was uh, for our racks, uh, like I said, what we did was first we screwed the screws into the, the hangers then attached them to the racks. And that prevented uh, a lot of the stuff from falling. Another thing that happened was uh, a lot of the, the uh, hooks to these were not really at a steep angle. And so things were falling off pretty easily. So all we did was we got um, all of our racks that are holding up certain tools. Uh, for instance, this one, uh, we got that one over there, and of course the backpack blowers. All we did was actually put these in a vise, and then we actually uh, we actually bent them back to where they're at a, a bit more of an angle to where it kind of holds thing backs, holds the stuff back off the wall uh, rather than the other way. Uh, so that is one of the final tips that we have as an improvement to our trailer. <clears throat> all right, so I want to go ahead and go over all the tips that we did uh, in this video to help you guys. Um, improve your guys' trailers. The first one, of course, is placing the trimmer racks on the right side of the trailer. Now, like I said, uh, you have a lot better easy access where you're not having to walk through the whole entire trailer and step over a lot of tools like we are doing right now. And like I said, we're going to go ahead and switch that one over sometime later this year uh, just because it's a lot faster. And then, of course, the new trailer, we're actually going to go ahead and um, place them on the right-hand side, too. But we don't have that. Uh, tip number two is if you're going to be doing uh, the shelving in your trailer, if you're going to have a lot of heavy duty stuff, uh, definitely put that extra 2x4 underneath it or even put other kind of support beams underneath it too. Uh, that way you know for sure it is completely secured uh, to the trailer. Uh, tip number three, if you're using the kind of hooks that we're using, the Husky brand or any other brand, uh, get one of those self-tapping screws and screw them into the racks. Uh, that will really prevent the racks from falling off during transportation if you were to hit bumps or get through a bumpy road. Uh, will definitely save your equipment from falling off and uh, onto the trailer and breaking. So tip number four is using that specific hook that I told you that we use to hold our extensions for our PAS system and also for the bottom of the hedge trimmers to keep those secured. I don't know the name of them yet, the name of the hooks, uh, but you can just take a picture of them, go to your local hardware store, and I'm sure they'll find them for you. Uh, so that really helps kind of keep things a little bit more secured to the walls. And the last and final tip, if you're using racks like we are, are the hooks. Uh, definitely uh, place them in a vise and bend them back or bend them at an angle to where uh, they are able to secure uh, all your equipment so that they're not falling off, of course, um, to the ground where it could damage your equipment. All right, well, thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope that we covered everything. Like I said, we're going to keep you guys updated on all the new things that we're doing to our trailers to hopefully help you improve yours. If you guys got some good ideas that uh, helped you out that you guys would like us to announce and uh, kind of help others out uh, definitely let us know and we'll take a look at your video and then we'll go ahead and repost that and we'll kind of go from there uh, the channel that we're doing is really to help you guys and your businesses and grow from what we've learned and help you guys um, go past all the headaches and all the hard times so i hope you guys enjoy the videos thanks for all the likes thanks for all the views we got plenty more coming your way so thank you so much uh, subscribe like and we'll see you guys next time on ambrose landscaping yeah. Yeah.